If this humongous field of computer geeks, CI slot, Linux fanboys, and lead code nodes are mocking you to buy a new pair of underwears every week, you are not alone, my friend. The truth is, everyone out here, no matter what they are doing, is as trash out as you are. Yes, even the crypto bros. And yet, Finding a dream job that hits both your passion and your bank account is simple AF bro. Most people just go with the flow, numbing their true aspirations and living in mediocrity because they don't realize that there are many archetypes of people. Some people love to work alone and be their own boss, while some people are natural team players. Some people goon over technical details, some write techno-functional roles, while others only vibe with creative and artistic work. Some legends enjoy them all. I love music. I have been playing instruments since I was 9, and by high school, I started to sell my beats. But here's the catch. I spent way more time marketing than actually doing music and after a few weeks I burnt out. But everything changed when I started collaborating with real artists. When I started to just vibe and produce for them, I felt I was cooking for real this time. But I'm going to get a 9 to 5 job bro. I have no choice. Yes sir. And you can still make that passion a side hustle till it becomes an aura farm. Like currently I am while creating these videos. You see, slavery comes in several different flavors. You can work as a freelancer, technical consultant, graphic designer, and Indie developer, open source contributor, team manager, IT admin, character design, HR, tech influencer, researcher, professor, startup founder, or digital nomad. Now I know it's very disappointing that we cannot become Bombardino Kruger Dilo at this point, but you have to find what aligns with your integral values. That's your archetype. So now that I've just peaked the tech multiverse, which trajectory should I choose to ruin my sleep schedule? To find the thing that excites you more than anything else. When you find your passion, it's fantastic, it gives you direction, it gives you purpose. You're making your passion your purpose. You'll unlock your passion, you'll find your purpose. Follow your passion. Follow your freedom. It's about what do you love? What does the world need? For long, we have been taught to follow your passion, but I never really bought it. Like most of you will never figure out their true passion and keep slaving a 9 to 5 that sickens them to their gut. If a med bro realizes that he hates cooking meds in second year of his undergrad, bro is not just cooked, he's cremated. But sheeple still eventually manage to find some sort of vibe, a peculiar interest in their work that keeps them going or just enough to keep them from quitting. This is because mastery comes before passion. That's right. Passion is not a random loot box that just drops and suddenly your whole life is fixed like Ah, I finally found my true passion. I'm so happy now. No, passion is also not like a treasure chest at the end of the game. It's more like skill points that you keep investing in. Hold up, so you're telling me that CSC field will just click for me if I log in hard? Bro, just open a new tab in my brain. Well, think about it. The core reason you probably like programming is because your brain edges to solve complex problems. And you'll find that in any software software domain corridor. Similarly, the core reason you probably hate programming or like moving in creative fields might be because you value creating art or talking to people and solving their problems. In that case, you should pursue app design, UI UX or consultancy leadership roles. Bro, why that Loki just rewire my neurons? By introspecting my core desires, I can figure out my area of expertise. But still, what in the matrix should I fuck with? Cybersecurity, DevOps, AIML. That's the part where we get real and start looking for those bags. What inspired you to become a senior ML researcher? Money! There's a lot more to passion farming after you start cooking with it. My channel is betting more on tech content right now, but if you want me to cook more videos on this topic, leave it down below in the comments and share your journey with us. Or even better, become a part of this journey with all of us.